Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for refusing my husband's request to have an abortion. I'm 32 and my husband is 36. We have been married almost three years, and we are both Muslim. Four days ago, I found out I am 12 to 15 weeks pregnant, and two days ago I told my husband. His immediate reaction was to negate what I said, and tell me that he will not accept this. He threw the clinic papers on the table, and continued to say he was not going to accept this, because he was not ready, and he was not going to be a part of it at all. He then demanded I go get the abortion pill, and when I did not say anything because at this point I was already crying, he demanded I go get an abortion. I ended up going out because I was really hungry. He ended up falling asleep, and after I came home, I went to bed. The next morning, I woke up for work, and as soon as I was walking out the door, he got up really fast to tell me he was going to pick me up from work to go to the clinic and take care of this ASAP. I told him I didn't want to talk about this right now and that I needed to leave for work, he complained and said, How can you leave me hanging like this? I told him I didn't want to talk about that now and left for work. Later that day, he asked me to meet him in a public place to talk. I told him I was working until later, and I was too tired, and I wanted to go home right away. He said, Okay and waited for me to get home to talk, and he wanted to talk fast because he had to go somewhere. When we started talking, he basically started off by saying this is not what he expected, that he never agreed to have children right now, and that he was not okay with this because he was not ready. He also continued by saying he had not ended his business inside for a long time now, and that I was deceiving him because he trusted me taking BC. He also said we agreed not to have children until years later and he never agreed to get pregnant now. I told him that at the beginning of our marriage, we agreed to be careful about having kids, but we were also aware they could happen anytime regardless. I have been on BC consistently all this time. I did switch methods at some point, and only recently, my husband started wearing condom, but not consistently. I do know for a fact that he would sometimes end his business inside. It happened a couple of times, but it did, and most of the time we were together, we didn't wear anything, even if he ended up outside. He blamed me for the whole situation, and when I confronted him about trying to take me to the clinic, he was dumbfounded and said he wanted to take me to get another test. For reference, I showed him a home test and a clinic test. When I confronted him about it and asked if he thought I was lying after I gave him a clinic test, he said he was okay with the test I gave him and dropped the clinic issue. When I confronted him about demanding an abortion, he said he wasn't trying to force me to do it, but he also said that if I continued with the pregnancy, I was going to be responsible for the consequences because he didn't have this situation. He said that he didn't want to have babies if we moved countries. I told him that we could bring our baby anywhere and that we had already planned to move, so there wouldn't be any change to our plans, and we could rearrange the details. He also said that the bottom line was that if I wanted to be with him, we had to push this to the side. He said this pregnancy would break him ruin everything for us, and doom our lives in every way. When I asked him to clarify what he meant, I told him that per his words, there were two paths, one. If I want to be with him, I must get rid of it too. If I don't, he would neglect any responsibility, and would not be a part of anything moving forward, meaning he would also abandon me. He tried to tell me that's not what he meant, and I asked him what would happen if I made up my mind and chose to follow through. He said he wasn't sure. He said this is the best for us and our lives, and maybe later we can have other kids since we are both healthy. For reference, we have been married for three years, and we are both Muslim. He did mention that I was allowed to carry the procedure, as long as I am under four months, but that's under extreme circumstances where there is something wrong with the pregnancy, not just for any reason. I told him that for us, babies are considered blessings, and they always come with sustenance, but he laughed sarcastically and said, this was not the type of blessing he wanted. He wanted kids, but years later, maybe after three years once we both have our citizenships. This would take about one to two years from now cause I have to fix mine and request him. He said after this happened, we could both see where our relationship stands and decide on kids. He has been acting like I am not pregnant and like life goes on, but he said that my choice will either make things work or crush them. 
I have also been under a lot of stress, working extra hours to pay off the money I had to borrow for emergencies, so I don't have money to spare for food right now, and he is not worried about asking if I eat or not. I haven't had more than two eggs a day for the last three days, and I feel really tired. He doesn't want anyone to know, and he is pretending that this situation does not exist. I'm so exhausted. Comment D-Big, not the asshole. You're stressing out working extra to pay back money borrowed for emergencies. Did he benefit from the borrowed money? Should he be helping to pay the money back? Either way, I think he should help provide food and drink for both of you, I'm not even talking about the baby. As husband and wife, do you never share a meal? Do you never mingle funds for the household bills and groceries? As far as the baby goes, you are not the asshole. He refuses to even discuss the situation. You need someone to talk with, and he's obviously not the one. Op replied, he benefited indirectly because he didn't push out money on his own to cover my emergency. I did ask him for help first before I opted to borrow from people outside, and he refused, saying it wasn't fair. This was in him right now when it was something I got into before we got married, and now he had to deal with it. He also said he had no money. I ended up finding someone to help. We do share meals sometimes, but overall, I would buy 80% of the groceries and pay the utilities and internet up until a couple months ago when I started paying back the money I had to borrow. I stopped helping out financially just for last month and this month, and it turned into a you never help and you don't take responsibility for the stuff in the house. There's no food ready, and my responsibility versus his kind of situation. Just want to note here that for two months, I have not contributed, but for two years, I did carry groceries and utility bills plus my gas and food outside the house while working, plus I would pull out end money when he would be short on expenses. Later on, he did complain as of why I had no money saved for this M issue I had. That I should have money because he never asked me for anything. And yes, you're right. He is not one I can talk to about processing all this issue. I did try yesterday, and he said he was also going through a lot of stress, and even he was getting sick now because he couldn't sleep because of this situation. Debig replied, I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like this is a marriage. It sounds like we all are roommates. Whether or not he asked for anything, you were paying for stuff, food, utilities, shortages on his part, your expenses when working, etc. Since your money is going to pay back loans made to cover emergency funds borrowed, maybe he can make an exception and relax a little. Do you know where he spends all of his money? If not, why does he get to know where all of your money goes to the penny? I'm not much help. I apologize, 